I don't even know how to feel right now. We've got hats, we've got coats. We've got hats and coats on this morning because it's in the 40s. So I am like shocked. It was like 90s a week ago. Now it's winter. All right, so I totally had a different plan for today. I was supposed to get my hair done. So my mom was gonna come over and watch the kids while I went and got my hair done. And I was like so looking forward to it because if you're a stay at home mom, like there's a vibe when you go, you get a coffee, you get your ha hair done or your nails done or your errands, whatever you're gonna do like without the kids. And it's just like your whole like mood is just like, it's just fun. I love it. <laughs> so I was really looking forward to having that today. Um, unfortunately, my hairdresser had to cancel. So I'm like disappointed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. I feel like the lighting's weird. I'm um, not gonna let it ruin my day. I'm still gonna go to Starbucks. Uh, we only have drive through Starbucks is like few and far between where I live so the only thing that's close to me is a grocery store Starbucks where I have to get out and go in which is annoying but the kids need milk anyways so I'll just grab the milk and a Starbucks and hopefully we won't be in there for very long and hopefully there won't be any meltdowns but we're just leaving the gym so that's what I'm gonna go do and then we're gonna go home and have a quick lunch and get ready and then we're gonna go out with my mom today because she was like feeling the same way she's like I had already told the kids that we were doing stuff with Debbie today so she's like you know what let's go out let's go shopping so I'm so excited <laughs> my birthday is in a month I'm like one of those obnoxious people that's like it's almost my birthday it's like I love my birthday I'm sorry I love it and I'm gonna be 30 so I been like talking about it for the past year but I'm excited and so she wants to take me shopping for my birthday and she's like let's just do it today and I'm like okay so we're gonna have a fun exciting good day um Hot Wheels <laughs> Hang on, Mom. Yeah. Yes. Um, there was also a medium diet Dr. Pepper. Did you get that? Oh, I see. Yes, Mom. Okay. All right, thanks. No problem. Hi, Mom. Hi, where are you? I was just driving through McDonald's because we haven't had anything, and I was going to ask if you wanted a soda, but I got you one anyways. Oh. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Well, I've been tapping. You need to hurry up and save me. <laughs> I need a what? I'm at Michael. You have to hurry up and save me before I keep buying stuff. I'm at Michael Ford's so. Why'd you go there without me? Why? What do you mean? I was in here the other day without you. What difference does that make? Well, we were going to go together. Don't buy anything. Wait for me. I'll be right I, there. It's, I'm not buying it without you. It's behind the counter. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. You know the drama is never ending Don't let it get the best of you And all the fake friends just keep pretending That's how the little things get huge Paralyzing every pore, oh You feel it taking over you To the center of your core, core The lies are getting We just got back. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So funny thing is I had actually saved this bag in my Poshmark because I found it on Poshmark and I thought it was so cute. But 
The price is $2.89 on Poshmark. Granted, it did come with a wallet. But at the actual, sorry, it's not focusing. Yeah. At the actual Michael Kors outlet, which I wasn't even expecting to find this, um, it was only $96. So I'm so excited. I love it. I love the three different colors of it and the chain. Cal, be careful. Why? Oh my goodness. Um, and it's like got a decent amount of space in there too. Um, so my mom got me that and then she also bought me a coat which is in her car and she has not arrived yet. So I'll show you the coat when she gets here. Um, but this was my old wallet that I was using and it just like takes up pretty much the whole purse. So we went back in there and I found this one which is so fun and cute. I love the plaid and this one was like $30. So um, this is the kind that I used to have and I like it because I can just grab it with my phone on days that I don't have my purse, which I really only wear a purse um, for like dates or if I'm gonna be like out running errands on my own. But if I'm with the kids, I pretty much just have the diaper bag. So I kind of stick to that, but I love it. So here's how it looks on me and it's just so nice. It's like the perfect size, I love it. And it's gonna match like pretty much everything in my closet for fall. Okay, I did, I got one more thing. This was actually on my like list to buy as a new coat for Cal because his coats are size 2T from last year. They still fit him okay, but they're pretty small. And we walked into Tommy Hilfiger and I saw this coat. Oh my gosh, it is so, it's even cuter on him. Like the back, it's so cute. It was kind of pricey. Um, it was $50, it's normally 100, and then it's a size extra, extra small, which they say is a two to three, but it fits him perfectly. Like it's a little bit oversized on him, so it's gonna fit him all winter. It's so, so nice and so cute. I'm like obsessed with it. This is yours. You did it. Yeah, you gotta give that one to your brother. Yeah, This one's yours. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. She got them stuff to go with their costume. Oh, I should show their costumes are over here. I went to Marshall's the other day and I just re randomly saw Halloween costumes and like put them on the kids just for fun. And they were just like too cute to pass up. So this is Cal's. It's a dinosaur. And look at like, it's really nice. It almost looks like something you would order from like Pottery Barn. Cause like, it's like cool. And like it's super nice, you guys. This was 24.99. And then Crew got this cute little lion. This was only 19.99, and it's like the cutest little thing on him. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. So this is the coat that I picked out at Michael Kors. It's like it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's kind of like a teddy, like faux fur fabric it's so fun and different and then the inside is suede and it just has two buttons I'll try it on too but it was just I don't know it seems like a really classic yet interesting coat so I'm gonna try it on so, I love it no it's not a toy honey Oh my gosh, the life of a youtuber stop oh, to where it's quieter. We went to Silver Dollar City today with the boys um, it was packed. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like a big, kind of like a take on like a Disney World, but like way smaller scale. Um, but I am gonna vlog a little bit tonight and then tomorrow because I actually got my hair appointment moved. Do you want me to hold you? Yeah. I got my hair appointment moved to tomorrow, which is Monday, and David happens to be off tomorrow, so it works out perfectly. So he can watch the boys, and I can still go get my hair done. Um, so yeah, I can still go get my hair done tomorrow, so I figured I would finish off the vlog tomorrow and show you guys my, my hair, because right now it's like, ugh, it's so greasy. But, um, what was it? Oh, we're making burgers and Brussels sprouts tonight. I made this a few days ago and shared it on my Instagram stories. You guys, it was like the best recipe ever. Carb-free, friendly. So I'm gonna show you guys how we make that and then I'm also going to vlog tomorrow for my hair. That jacket's so cute on you. Oh, you didn't see it on me. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> so Let's model it. Really cute. Okay, if I zipped it up, yeah. I think it was, here, let me do that real quick. So. Oh. 
And I came in with my sunglasses on because I matched it, but <laughs> had to say, is it bright out there? That's nice. I mean, it is night now, but I just told him I was a celebrity, right? Yeah. Here for your celebrity interview tonight. Oh, that's very cute. MK. Cute. Oh, and it looks so nice with my... It really does. And, you know, he said, he still resistance. Did I get crunchy enough? Cute. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. She got us matching. Ooh, they're very soft. Hooks and pork skins? No, no, you don't. Those aren't for you. But I brought some stuff to make nacho dip. Oh, okay. And... Yeah, I mean, I love these. They're great. They're so and this is for us. But... Yeah, these are great. That's what you want. Yeah, so cute. You don't even like the other one? I didn't look at them yet. Just check them out. Screw in bed? Yeah. Sleep tight. No, I like leopard. I'm a leopard girl. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to film our wine chat. And um, what, I'm gonna show them our, how we do our burgers and Brussels sprouts too after we film. Okay, all right, I guess we're ready to go film. All right, so we're just doing some dinner now and I figured I'd show you guys because- Yeah, at what time? What time is it? Like 9.30. <laughs> yeah, we're having dinner. But I made this the other night and it was so good. So these are just frozen. Brussels spout, sprouts, which it probably would have been better with fresh ones. Um, and then I'm gonna add olive oil, balsamic, garlic seasoning, as well as garlic salt. I think that's all. Oh, and then Parmesan. And then I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer. Okay. How are those goggles working? Here's what they look like. Oh yeah, I bought, finally bought onion goggles. Are they working, Dad? I think they are, so far they are. Okay. Okay, so you open it up. Yeah. Throw them in. All that oil and everything. Yep. Where's it all go? In the bottom somewhere? Yeah, and then you just clean it out. I can't believe this. I have this. I gave this to her, and I have one, and I've never used it. I'm just going to do it at 400, which is the French fry setting. And then it's automatically going to say 22 minutes, but I'm going to switch it to 15. That's it? Yeah, that's, that's all you do. Oh my gosh, I'm getting mine out. And if you have anything from the freezer, yeah. like all I do is that's frozen. Yeah, all I do is dump it in, turn it on, and press it for about ten minutes. And then what? It's thawed or it's thawed and cooked? It's cooked. It's thawed and cooked. All the way through? All the way through. And if you have like wow. if you have like frozen chicken breasts, yeah. put them in, put it on the meat setting. Put a little oil because it will get dry. So I usually put olive oil on top if it's chicken. Where's the meat setting? Well, it's not gonna show right now, but these light up. Oh my gosh. Seasoning, olive oil, turn it on meat, and it'll cook it in they like 25 again. minutes. I, mean, I should probably get them for the other people that did get them this year. Yeah. I ordered and the Instant Pot too is great too. I love that for chicken too. But I ordered the, I ordered chicken. They're not working, guys. <laughs> Sorry. What? She's what a waste of ten dollars! Be careful. Of Maybe if you wear underwater like scuba goggles or something. You know. How do we make the burgers? Make a ball. He puts them on the pan, and then this is the Trader Joe's Salute Twenty One seasoning, which is amazing. Oh no, we used it all. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Um, but this is the seasoning that we like to use. It's so, so good. I'm gonna have to go to Trader Joe's when I come in town. Okay, he just flipped them. So he just sets the timer for five minutes and flips them over. Oh, they could go longer, for sure. Oh Yeah, they could okay. go longer. Okay. Do you want them a little brown? I do. I like them crispy. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do. Let's do another five minutes. And now David's making the fried eggs. Oh, you got shell in there. Yeah. Are you a rookie? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they didn't get crispy enough in the air fryer because I think we did 
triple the amount I did the first time, so we're actually gonna broil. It's hard to believe that's three bags. I know, that's why I got three bags, because you really don't That's about how many we eat for the two of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then David, ooh, this is hot, grills the onions. And, oh, it's too late. And he's uh, frying the bacon in the air fryer. All right, here's the Brussels sprouts. What do you guys put on this? I like to do, I just did barbecue, Jack Stack barbecue, and then I dipped it in ranch, and it was so good. Okay, I'm gonna do what you did because I'm worried that I don't know what I'm doing here. So this is the burger, when do I fried do, egg, bacon. Do, Onions and tomatoes. Do you put the tomato, when do you put this on? I did that first, and then I did the other things, then I drizzled the ranch on top, but then I just did a side of ranch, and then I when forked and down. dipped it. Next. So, it's, it's here's what it looks burger. like. And then you just eat it with a fork and a knife, and it's so good. Good morning, guys. It's so bright out here, you probably can't even see me, but I'm just sitting out here. This is so nice. Um, David's off today, so he took, he just took crew. Cal didn't want to go to the gym. So Cal's just in there watching a movie and I'm sitting out here doing my planner for the week, meal planning, um, planning videos for the week and everything. And I'm getting ready to order my groceries. So I brought my computer out here, drinking my coffee. It's really nice. Um, usually I do this on Sunday nights, but since David was off today, I decided to do it this morning. And um, I just have a lot of fun content planned. It's funny because when I posted that vlog a few weeks ago about not knowing what to post or feeling like in a rut, everybody just like started giving me like really good ideas and you know, a lot of encouragement. So it's really great because now I feel like I have a whole new mindset and I have a lot of fun content that I want to do and the holidays are gonna be really fun this year I really want to do some cool creative videos for you guys um, so if you have any recommendations for that leave them down below but I'm looking forward to it and yeah so basically just having a really nice morning and I don't know I just wanted to hop on here but I'm gonna oh hey babe <laughs> I am gonna get back on here though when I leave to go uh, get my hair done Hey babe, you wanna come out here? Can you open it? One time he locked me out and it was so terrifying because there's no other way into the house. Hey, you can come sit out here. You can bring your show out here if you want. Can I bring my blanket out here? You can bring your blanket out here. Okay. okay. I want it. And then do you wanna grab your show? Can I put it on the table? Sure. Okay. Oh, another thing I was going to say. What? Oh, I'm talking to the camera, honey. <laughs> is I'm going to start trying to read more. You guys know I love Audible and I read or listen to books all the time um, during the week. But I don't actually read, like physically read very often because it's just hard to find the time. But I'm going to make that a thing starting this week and just like before I go to bed read because I have so many like hard copy books that I want to read sitting in my office that I just have not had the time for. I usually read when we go on like trips and stuff. I will read like two or three books, but otherwise I don't ever read at home. So I'm going to start making that part of my routine. Yeah, you can have those. All right, so I'm getting ready to leave. Share my outfit. This is this sweater I found on Poshmark. I think I shared it in a vlog. It's my first time wearing it, but it's super fun and cute for fall and then these jeans are from American Eagle really really old and just some black booties I got these last year from the Michael Kors outlet and I wore them so much last fall and I have a feeling I'm gonna wear them again this fall because they just go with everything and then I just put on this hat that I got from Goodnight Macaroon because my hair is really dirty and there's no point in washing it because I'm just gonna go get it done so I didn't shower this morning um, and then I just like twisted it into like a little bun so yeah that's my uh, look for my haircut <laughs> and got my little pumpkin cream cold brew that I'm so obsessed with her opinion 
I like the idea of like the lob, the like long I do, it's like, oh, I wanted that so bad. So I don't know, like I love that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I love it. Do you think I am a good candidate for yes, that? Yes, okay. I do. I feel like I could definitely lose a little bit because it's kind of just stringy down there. Right. Almost like right where you need it. Like it's starting to be yeah. it needs yeah. to I mean, I definitely don't want to be like short, short. Right. Like, I like that length. I would say take off like this little tail piece right yeah. here. Yeah. I think good. that's perfect. And then, okay, her layering is a little bit heavier than what I would do with you. Okay. But you can still get that same look. I just keep going with where it's going. Like, I mean, I like that kind of look, okay. but just, you know, the bright. cool, creamy. Yeah. And I love, I've been using that purple shampoo and yes. it's really keeping everything like more white. It helps so much, doesn't it? I'm liking like the white blonde. Okay. I will, I will. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Yay! Okay. I haven't like cut my hair in a really long I time. Know. <laughs> uh, I think it's a good safe transition. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's definitely a safe transition. I don't even know how to feel right now. This is so different. I am so not used to this. If you don't like it, don't tell me. <laughs> I have to get used to it. I think I will like it. I just have to get used to it. Um, I love the color. She always does a great job like lightening it up. I love adding like the blondes in there, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, oh my gosh. Uh, this is crazy short, you guys. I think she layered it too. I wanted it like angled so it was longer in the front and then it's shorter in the back, but also um, it's curled. So maybe when it's straight, that'll be more length. And it's hard to tell in this turtleneck. I'm just making excuses now, but I feel like it's so short. Ah, but it's fun, right? It is fun. It's definitely fun. Short hair is like really in right now. I do not know what David's gonna say. All right, so just got home and David's like, it's not that big of a deal, it looks fine. I'm like, he's like, you're making it into a bigger deal than it is. And I changed my shirt because I was like, I feel like it'll look longer in a different shirt. I don't know. I'm just not used to it. It's just different. I really like the color and the shape. It's just like, oh, it's so short, but it's really not though. I can still like fully wear a ponytail and all that. It's just a little crazy, a little different. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's long vlog. I'm sure I'm gonna go start editing it now. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.